Welcome to Tarpon Springs, Florida, known as the sponge capital of the world and some amazing Greek food. Hi, excuse me, sir. Um, which way to the sponge dock? This way? Thank you. In the nature coast of Florida, an hour and a half from Crystal River and under an hour from Tampa is Tarpon Springs. This charming town is known for their sponges, the most amazing Greek food. He makes the Joey special here at Hockey's. 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 So we're going to show you why this is a must do when visiting Florida. And let's start with the cuisine. What better place than a popular spot? Ellis Restaurant and Bakery. Located in the center of the famous sponge docks, this open-aired, award-winning Greek cuisine is an experience. So what did we order? <laughs> we got saganaki, and as you see, it's flame cheese. <laughs> I used to get this in Greek town in Chicago when I was younger. I mean, I don't eat it with bread. I just eat it. You can put it with bread. <laughs> it's just how I do it. Cause I just like it by itself because it's so good. It's salty. It's my face mm, that I always do. And then, uh, <laughs> Have you ever had saganaki? And if so, did you like it? Let us know in the comments below. This is a Greek salad for one. So I don't know what Larry is gonna eat, but no, really, this is huge. What did we get, Larry? Lamb riblets. We will definitely be heading back here for dessert later. Okay, so we just ate at Halas restaurant and it was really good, really authentic, really fresh ingredients. Like the olive oil was so good. Customer service is great. Amazing customer service. Uh, Prices are a little bit high, but I mean, that's what you expect when you have employed. And when you come Greece. in here, if you park in the parking lot, it'll say $10 for the day. But if you dine at Alas, they will uh, validate the parking for the whole day. And so we're walking around now and then we'll go back to the parking lot. That's right. Tarpon Springs was officially founded in 1887. A railroad developed, creating this area to become a bustling winter vacation spot. The 1900s brought a new way to dive for sponges and more fishermen were being recruited from Greece, creating the Greek influence that you see today. In the 1980s, Tarpon Springs became the sponge capital of the world and still brings in millions of sponges to this day. There are sponges everywhere and in the most creative ways. We just had to find the best one to take home. Gardenia. Oh, honey, I'm just gonna sit here. Like, I'll be here for the next hour. You can just go walk around. I'll still be here. I'm just smelling all of them. I had to go with it. I'm gonna inspect all of them just to make sure they're all <laughs> the scent there. Do you think they'll let you use all of them? They might bring need someone to try a, like a trial person. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> I like little cupcakes, we need this. We might not have bought all of those, but that just means we'll have to return. There's a fresh catch. One day's work, huh? Uh, uh, this is leftovers from the summer. Oh, really? Okay. Put it up for a guy like you to get some pictures. Oh, appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. 
Tarpon Springs is a very pedestrian-friendly town, and the historic Sponge Docks area is definitely a tourist attraction. With daily boat tours, restaurants, gift shops, and more, there is plenty to do for a day or two. Got in just in time. We made it back to the bakery. It's time for dessert and coffee. Before we wrap up our day here, we had one more stop down the street. We wanted to visit the Shrine of St. Michael. Nestled in the residential area, it was built in 1941. St. Michael is the Archangel of Healing the Sick. It has been reported that after visiting the Shrine, miracles have happened. Open daily, all visitors are welcome, regardless of faith. It's truly a special place. Thank you for coming along on our day trip to Tarpon Springs. We hope that we inspired you to include this charming town next time you visit Florida. See you there and back. This is the side of my face. <laughs>